If you have some money but you can't afford to lose that money, one of the best places to invest the money is into treasury bill, especially if you're a beginner into investing. So what is treasury bill? How does it work? What is the interest rate and how will you withdraw your money after maturity? That's what today's video is all about. So if you are new to investments, I believe this video is going to help you. So let's get started. So treasury bill is one of government's investment scheme where citizens are allowed to invest money with the government. So by three months, six months, one year or two years, government pay us back with some interest. So it's a safe place for investment, especially if you're a beginner. So to get started, you need a bank account. If you have a bank account already, that's okay. But if you don't have a bank account, then you have to create one. Then after creating a bank account, you need to do some savings. The amount you want to invest in the treasury bill, you put it in your savings account. Just after the savings, you can tell whoever is helping you, the tailor or the where they have been doing inquiries. You just tell them that you want to, you know, buy treasury bill. So they'll give you a form to fill. So after filling that form, that's all. So the next thing to wait for is a notification that, you know, the bank has buy treasury bill for you. Whilst filling the form, you know, there are some few things you need to know. And if you are there and you don't understand something, you know, let them explain everything to you. Because how long will you use to you? Will you like to use that money that you want to invest? Is it in six months? Is it in three months time? Is it one year time or two years time? You know, you just have to put all this into consideration before you even fill the form. So if it is six months, it, all, everything is going to be on the form. So you just specify the assessment. Another thing you need to know whilst filling the form is that they have something called rollover. So rollover with interest, rollover with what, what, there are a lot of those stuffs on the form. So you will need to ask question well before you fill it. If you go in there to say, oh, you take like rollover with interest and all that, if the three month is due, automatically your account will restart. That is, you are not going there to fill any form again. So if you are someone who wants to use the money in three months time and you take rollover with interest or you take rollover, automatically, like the, um, the treasury bill will automatically restart again. So you have to make sure that you ask questions. Well, if it is three months that you want it, you don't have to go and take rollover and all that. You can take do not rollover. So what I'm trying to say is just ask questions over there don't feel shy of anyone especially if you are a beginner you'll be shy to ask certain questions but you know it's your money you want to use it at the time you want so just make sure that you ask a lot of questions so that you don't do mistakes even if you do mistake you can go and cancel it or you can tell them that you want to cancel the investment but sometimes if you are canceling it they will deduct something from it meaning it's an agreement that you've signed. So once you didn't reach the time before you want to withdraw the money, definitely they are going to withdraw something. They will deduct something from it, you see. So basically, that's what treasure bill is all about. But when we come to the withdrawal too, as I said already, it's nothing difficult. Yeah, if it is like six months that you want to go there and cash out, then you just take oh, six months. If it is three months, you take three months. If it is two years time that you want to go and cash out, two years. So just the difference you must know is the rollover and do not roll over. If it is six months per that you want to go in, then don't think do not roll over. So ask a lot of questions and I believe, you know, they'll give you the direction to do the right thing. So guys, if you want to invest your money and you don't want the money to, you don't want to lose that particular money because you have a plan for it, then treasury bill is one of the best places to go. So guys, that's it. And when we come to the interest rate, before I end the video, as for the interest rates, it sometimes vary. If the government say they should increase the interest rate, they'll increase it for you. If the government say they should decrease the interest rate, they'll decrease it. You see? So you have to time and see when the interest rate is okay. And in this on this channel, anytime they increase the interest rate of treasury bills, I've been giving updates here. So if you're not a subscriber, just subscribe so that you get to know every update in terms of the interest rate. The current interest rate that they are using now is 17%. Yeah, it's, I think it's 17%. I did a video about that and I'll be leaving the video somewhere at the end of this video. So you can check it out and that video explained what the interest rate is all about. So you can check it out. 
I believe that video will be very helpful to you. So guys, thanks for watching my videos. I believe my channel has been helpful to you in one way or the other. I have a lot of finance videos on the YouTube channel. So take time and go through and see which one will be helpful to you. If you have any idea or you don't agree with something, feel free to leave a comment because that helped me to improve myself, you know, little by little. Thanks for watching guys. I'm going to see you in my next video.